What's going on guys? In the last video I explained how you can create a halfway rectifier using a single op-amp. Well in this video I would like to go over uh, a design, how to design a full way rectifier using two op-amps. So first we'll draw out our in halfway uh, rectifier. And you can change the resistor here to change the gain, but for simplicity, uh, we're just going to use a gain of 1. So my VN is a sinusoidal. Let's assume that. And this is my reference point I have. So this is our bias for this uh, op amp. It'll be this R parallel with this one, so it's R over 2. And notice that my VN is like this. So my V out over here at this point, V out one will be this. Okay. Now let's let's look at uh, how V. If we have another loop go around like this right here. And this signal here we call V out two. So how would V out two looks? It would just be exactly like V in. So you have this thing like this. So you can see see where I'm trying to get at here. You notice that this, if you add, if you were to add this V out one, and this V out two, which is V in, you will get V out one plus V out two, you get this. Okay, so we almost did a full way rectifier, but not enough. We need to amplify this V out one by a factor of two to make it like this. We need to amplify it by by a factor of two so that. When we add v v uh, v out one and v out two, we get a full way rectifier output like this. So what we do is we'll fill in the gap by using an inverting amplifier at this stage. So we need to put a resistor here, resistor here, and connect that here, and it goes to the feedback and a negative terminal and that's a feedback resistor. Let's call this R. So this has to be amplified by two, right? So this has to be R over two. And this is just a gain of one, so just R here. And we need to have a bias resistor here. R bias equals to R over four, since these three in parallel is R over four. Now we have our final output, which is this times negative one, since this is an inverting type of something in fire. So your V out will look like this. Your final V out will be douche, douche, douche. Okay. And and this is a way you can uh, rectify the negative cycle of your input. But what if you want to rectify the positive cycle of your input? Then you would want to switch this thing, this uh, these dials, to switch the dial position. Switch it so that it will be like this. Okay, so that will uh, assure that you have uh, you rectify the positive cycle instead. Okay. All right. I hope that uh, helps you out in your work, whatever you're doing. Uh, make sure to comment, subscribe. Uh, all right. See you next time. Thanks for watching.